So if our system is represented using differential equation of this form d cube y by dt cube plus 3 d square y by dt square plus 6 dy by dt plus 7y is equal to 10 of u. So over here this u is the input variable and this y is the output variable. In order to create a state model from this differential equation we need to identify the number of state variables, the number of state variables is equal to order of system and if a system is represented using this type of differential equation its order is equal to the highest order derivative over here this is equal to 3 so the order of system is 3 and the number of state variables are also equal to 3 so now that we have identified the number of state variables we will be finding their value if we equate y is equal to x1 here x1 is the first state variable this y is differentiated with respect to time over here and written like this dy by dt if y is differentiated then that means the first state variable is also differentiated let's write it like this x1 dot and equate it equal to x2 this x2 is the second state variable now dy by dt is again differentiated over here and written like this d square y by dt the square if this dy by dt is differentiated then that means x2 is also differentiated let's write it like this x2 dot and equated equal to x3 now again this d square y by dt square term is differentiated with respect to time and written like this d cube y by dt cube if this is differentiated then this third variable is also differentiated so we write x3 the dot over here now that we have calculated the values of state variables we can replace them in the differential equation and we would get this d cube y by dt cube is equal to x3 dot plus 3 this d square y upon dt square is equal to x3 this dy by dt is equal to x2 plus 7 this y is equal to x1 is equal to 10 of u so if we take this x3 dot in the left hand side and move all these variables in the right hand side we would get x3 the dot is equal to 10 u minus of 7 x1 minus of 6 x2 minus of 3 x3 like this also we know that x2 the dot is equal to x3 x2 the dot is equal to x3 which can be written like this 0 x1 plus 0 x2 plus 1 dot x3 like this also we know that x1 the dot is equal to x2 we can rewrite it like this 0 x1 plus 1 dot x2 plus 0 dot x3 like this also we have said that y is equal to x1 now if we represent these equations in vector form like this first would be x1 dot second is x2 dot third is x3 dot like this and over here x1 dot is equal to 0 x1 plus 1 dot x2 plus 0 dot x3 let's represent it in the matrix like this 0 1 0 and over here we write x1 x2 x3 like this x2 dot is equal to 0 x1 0 x2 plus 1 dot x3 so it would be written 0 0 1 over here and x3 dot is equal to minus of 7 x1 minus of 6 x2 minus of 3 x3 so we will write minus 7 
minus 6 minus 3 over here plus it also has a input value so we will write it over here like this 0 0 1 why because it is only present in this equation only so it is over here is 10 now right this is now in the form of state equation so this is in the form of state equation which was of this form x dot is equal to ax plus b u over here this x dot is equal to this one this a is the system matrix x is the set of state variables and b is this input vector and u is the input like this and now we would be writing the equation for output in the matrix form over here this y is equal to only x1 which can be written like this 1 dot x1 plus 0 dot x2 plus 0 dot x3 like this we can write it in the matrix like this x1 x2 x3 plus since no input is being applied so over here it would be 0 u so this output equation is of this form y is equal to cx plus d u over here this matrix is equal to c and this matrix is equal to d now that we have written system in the form of equations these are the two equations and this is the state model of the system now that we know how to create a state model from differential equation we can easily create the state model from a physical system